My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. Today on Joe Opinionated List, Movie Edition, I'm counting down the top five movies from Paul Thomas Anderson, director, writer. Born on June 26, 1970 in Los Angeles, California. He had originally created uh, Boogie Nights as sort of a mockumentary type show and it was i think it was only like 40 minutes long and it was called like dirk diggler something that's what he f- did first somehow he got the money to make hard eight had john c Riley, who was in other movies of his featuring gwyneth paltrow samuel L. jackson i have a heavy year too that he's been in a relationship with maya rudolph for a long time and they have four kids together that's cool number number five all time for paul thomas anderson movies i'm going with from 2002 starring adam sandler in punch drunk love i recently watched uncut gems is that what it's called the one adam sandler movie and that was that was really good so i i'm not sure up until i watched that movie this is by far my favorite Adam Sandler dramatic performance, and Sandler can act. It's just a chaotic pace, a weird pace to a movie that you're just kind of following along with. It's kind of crazy. I feel like you do have to be open to a bit something a bit more artsy fartsy and not as direct. You know, this isn't like a Louis L'Amour book. This is a bit more <laughs> in depth. Nothing wrong with Louis L'Amour books, but I mean, I'd use it as a reference, as a compliment. Louis L'Amour, sorry, but yeah. P- Punch Drunk Love, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman featured in this one. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, just the man, such a great actor and just blows the roof off in this one. And his relationship with Paul Thomas Anderson was a really important one. I forget, but I, I know that they, it was a very important one to him. And, you know, he had been typecast kind of thing. I think I believe it was Twister that typecast him and, and it was such a popular movie and he played this kind of G golly whiz kind of guy. And yeah, anyways, he spent the rest of his life uh, devoted to showing everybody what an incredible actor he is. But yeah, Sandler was in this one too. Ah oh man, I can't remember his name, but he was in uh, The Count of Monte Cristo. He played Yarkapo. Yarkapo. You gotta be in a different shit though to like this one. Number four all time, Joe Pini list. I guess this is like the unpopular one for, you know, the cinephiles or whatever. But I'm just shooting from, I'm telling the truth. And my kids are gonna watch this and I want them to know. Number four all time, I'm going with Heart 8. Now Heart 8, it was his you know debut big movie and i just think the acting is so incredible in this movie so what he gets from gwyneth paltrow and samuel jackson and and uh what's his name sydney john c Riley. it's very interesting you know it's not a very like exciting movie and that's sort of like the one downfall to it is just that it doesn't have as i don't know anyway fuck that part this is just uh, like a tribute to Martin Scorsese movies, I think. Like, obviously, this guy loves Scorsese, is what I think when I watch these shows. And I think that about a lot of his movies. You're just going along with this very easy to watch story, and everything looks very, you know, kind of clean. Incredible acting all around, though, overall, first and foremost. But yeah, number three all time for greatest Paul Thomas Anderson movies, it's Boogie Nights. But Boogie Nights is a really good movie. And the top three are three of the best movies ever made, in my opinion. This is the story that he came up with and that kind of launched his career. He made another version of this beforehand, before he got kind of famous. But they ended up getting uh, Mark Wahlberg, and Mark Wahlberg kills in this movie. He was also really good in that movie, Fear. I don't know if... I'm sure everybody remembers that, but there's a cool movie called Fear that came out, and it, remember, it was really good at one point. I don't know if that one aged as well as, as Boogie Nights did. Philip Seymour Hoff, look, a million great performances in this movie. Julianne Moore, Burt Reynolds, but it's just such an entertaining Scorsese-esque story that just keeps going and tracking through times like Goodfellas does, and it's hilarious. Heather Graham, yeah, Don Cheadle, Philip Seymour Hoffman, John C. Riley. Oh, there he was, Louise. William H. Macy. Man. <laughs> Another movie that he kills in. What do I think of? I just, the uh, first thought that comes to mind when I think of this movie, well, other than William H. Macy, would be The Hot Tub. The Hot Tub, when he's in, uh, it, when he's telling him, when he's had this vision of his name and he sees it in the lights and it's 
Dirk. It's rated R. It's about the porn industry. So, and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of like, like I said, like a Martin Scorsese thing. There's lots of drugs and lots of stuff going on and it's arguably his best movie. I'm going to do the honorable mentions. Number nine for the honorable mention is Inherent Vice. And of all of his movies, this one just didn't land an ending or a beginning. I don't know if he did some things really, really well and I just missed it, but I just... It, this just wasn't my favorite. So anyways, it's number nine. Rather than pick on it, it's just not for me, that's all. Number eight for Paul Thomas Anderson movies is The Master. I'm sorry. I really want to like this movie. Paul Thomas Anderson, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Joaquin Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix, loosely based on L. Ron Hubbard and uh, the Sea Org and all that stuff. And I really want to like this movie, but you know what? couldn't do it. I tried. I tried twice and I had such a hard time paying attention. Number seven all time for Japan lists as in the honorable mentions we have Licorice Pizza. Newest one and he's definitely back to his original ways in this one. Also has some cool cameos in it. Some long long time people. Also Tom Waits. Also features the girls from Heim. Philip Seymour Hoffman's son. It was a great movie. I really like it. Sean Penn. Really like it. The whole thing. But Paul Thomas Anderson and his top movies are re exceptional. Number six all time was the one that I watched to make the list. And so it didn't make the top five. This is the movie that Daniel Day-Lewis went out on. Daniel Day-Lewis is one of the greatest actors of all time and made one last movie getting into his method acting thing and his character. The movie is Phantom Thread. It's an incredibly well made movie, uh, well acted, uh, very strange story. I think if you like the Banshees of Irish Aaron, I think you like this movie, Phantom Thread. I think that it's just sort of the same thing. It's a really, it sounds so unappealing. It's about this like seamstress, this guy or whatever, a tailor who makes these beautiful dresses. It's more than that. It's about this guy who's kind of a dick. He is a dick. And I think that's kind of part of the reason why Daniel Day-Lewis retired from acting was because he was tired of bringing home these characters and some of them aren't that nice and this guy definitely wasn't. Great, great movie, but I didn't make my list. Number six, Phantom Thread. Okay, number two all-time Japanese list for Paul Thomas Anderson. I'm sorry, Jesse. Magnolia from 1999. This was my favorite for a long time until night until number one came out but and by that time i had watched magnolia so many times that i had to put it away and i haven't seen it in a while i haven't watched it recently now incredible movie so many different stories going on but you never feel lost never these coincidences that bring people together incredibly obviously creative if you've seen it you just know like it's you never forget it and so many great moments so many great so so much incredible acting from top to bottom like i, don't, I can't bring up every single scene and i do remember tom cruise julianne moore john c Riley losing his gun like but yeah this movie is just grabs you right from the the second it starts until the very end and i cannot wait for my kids to see this three hours of perfection no problems putting this one at number one so number one all-time joe opinion list comes from 2007 and it's there will be blood based off of upton sinclair's book oil uh what do i think of when i think of this movie i think of the third time that I went to watch it in the theater with uh, my my partner's best friend Katie. Her trying to be polite but <laughs> she definitely didn't like it. I love this movie. It's arguably my favorite movie of all time. Daniel Day-Lewis in you know my favorite of his performances and they're all really good though. I uh, Bill the Butcher in Gangs in New York is very easy to watch too. I, I love Sergio Leone movies. I love the old westerns. I love the old drawn out John Huston movies. I love uh, Treasure of Sierra Madre. This reminds me of that. And I love those movies and I love There Will Be Blood. Daniel Day Lewis. I mean, this is just perfection. This method acting as that guy, like my goodness. It's a long drawn out story. This is turn of the century, you know, 1900. This guy's mining for gold and then he strikes oil. He's incredibly selfish and there's this battle within it's just a beautiful movie i can watch it anytime it's very well made and i got it number one for paul thomas anderson movies 
and it's very close to number two Magnolia, I will admit that. And Boogie Nights is also at number three all day long for me, for Paul Thomas Anderson. Boogie Nights is a very close third. That does it for another Joe Opinionated list. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry I'm a little low on facts and high on opinions. Respect to Paul Thomas Anderson.